choosing university, it's a very hard decision to make. Especially for EU or international students who were not in England before, it's difficult to pick uni. There's plenty of unis you can pick from, hundreds actually. And I remember myself, whilst choosing uni, I was looking at um, a few things that they actually helped me to decide which uni I wanted. And I'd like to share with you today uh, tips and the recipe for creating the list of universities you want to be in and how to pick them because there are so many of them and um, I would like to tell you today um, a, a, some things that you can actually consider whilst choosing the university you want to go in especially nowadays when we are in the middle of pandemic and it's gonna be even more difficult to decide which uni you want to go in so I would like to help you with it and today we're gonna talk about how to pick uni suitable for your needs I got a few messages from you guys telling me that you are considering two or three options of universities and you don't know which one to pick. Uh, obviously I was only in two universities in England. I was in University of Bedfordshire and Anglia University in Cambridge. So I can only speak from my experience from my universities I went to. Um, obviously I will not tell you which you need to pick because there's hundreds of unis you can actually pick from. Uh, so it's not like I will tell you which uni is the best in England. Obviously it's good to look at ratings uh, reviews on the internet and um, student websites or Facebook or any reviews you can find. Um, it's good to have a one-to-one -one contact with a um, recruitment system or admission or previous students or students from the university you want to go in. But I will tell you a list of things, the recipe for finding the uni. Obviously you have to think about your preferences. Are you an extrovert? Are you an introvert? How do you feel in the city? Do you want to live uh, near the seaside? Um, who you are? What do you want to take from the university? Um, are you a party person? Are you not? Do you prefer more quiet um, environment? All of these things are going to help you decide which you need to pick. Um, also, if you like studying, you can pick more prestigious universities like um, like Manchester University or Newcastle or even Cambridge or Oxford and that's completely up to you where you want to apply um, whether you are a, um, a nerdy person who likes to study in the city in the library or a party person who just wants to get education party in the same time and also get experience during this obviously you have to consider many things I will tell you from my personal view uh, how I picked my uni. So I picked my university. I had actually five choices that I was looking at. My first main concern was the work, so the job in the middle of my studies. I wanted to find a place, a city, ideally a city for me, um, where I would find a job easily, where I would change um, different environment. So I'm the person who likes to study in the coffee shops. So for me, it was important to find coffee shops. Um, obviously, my first university wasn't uh, the greatest place on the planet. The city wasn't the best, um, but I was happy that I picked this uni because of the um, educational level and that I could actually um, be able to develop myself outside the university. The university wasn't that stressful, so I could actually find time for work, for internships, volunteering I wanted to do, any additional activities I wanted, plus social life. That was very important to me. But if you're a person who is nerdy, who likes to study, go to Oxford or Cambridge, uh, but be aware that these universities, these prestigious universities, are actually very demanding and you will be mainly studying and mainly uh, submitting assignments and um, learning and um, you will not have more time for yourself to develop yourself. Some universities are not allowing students to work during university terms, ter ter term times. Um, so if you're an EU or an international student, uh, take a look at um, how many hours you can actually work during university. Some of them are not allowing, some of them are allowing 20 hours, some allowing full time. So take a look at how many hours you can actually do whilst being a full time student. So let's focus on first thing, the, the ranking, 
and uh, the type of university it is. If you want to study psychology, take a look at facilities they have, take a look at um, the equipment they have, um, what kind of teaching they offer. Is the teaching very practical or is it more theory based? When it comes to rankings, um, I noticed that many of them are not that reliable. It's good to have a picture of where the university might be, but do not pay attention uh, to exact spot and exact reviews on those rankings because many rankings have different strategies uh, of putting the university on. So my previous university was very low on the rankings but what I got from it is much more than better university I went to and I got less so honestly, it's just the experience you have, it's the uh, luck for finding the lecturers that are amazing, or it's just your personal student experience. Do not really pay attention to rankings. Um, if I would, I would never pick my university and uh, it came out the, the best uni I could actually pick from, from myself. So pick the university you feel the most connected with and you agree with their values and their activities they offer. Do not pick the university because it's good in rankings, because not, not, that's not a point. Let's move on. It's good to pick at first maximum 10 universities that's a lot um, ideally five and this will narrow your uh, choices if you're gonna pick five um, take a look at cities where do you want to move in have you been in these cities um, or um, do you have any relatives around them um, do some research about the place is it city is it a countryside what is the campus is it big how many students it has um, and again suit this to your needs if you want to live in a city or a busy city or a quieter countryside that's completely up to you another one is the course so when I said about facilities um, also take a look at what university is specialized in so some universities are specialized in medicine or in science or in IT or computer science so these are the subjects that university is putting them focus on and they're more likely to recruit more students for this particular course just because they are experts in. And if you are looking for, let's say again, psychology, uh, take a look at rankings, especially for psychology. And thanks to that, it will help you to decide which universities are actually experts in your field. Of course, if you're gonna find a uni that is not specialized in the course you want but you kind of feel that the values and the city or in the environment is better in this particular university feel your gut and go with with your gut uh, because if you're gonna again pick the university uh, that is expert in the field and you will not be satisfied about the environment and the activities you will not get much from the university itself it's good to pick something you feel that you are drawn to and you actually want to go there because you're gonna spend three or four years in the same place pick wisely when it comes to the environment, student life is important. Like, if you're a party person, you're gonna drink, you're gonna have fun, you're gonna go out. And to do that, you have to have the environment for. Uh, take a look at the city. You can go through the Google Maps and see the streets on a Google view. Or you can um, go on a website of the, web, uh, the universities and they probably have their online tour that you can go into university and see the corridors and classes. What else is important is the student union. Student union is a student-run association that actually dictates time and effort and resources for students. What they offer is that every student is gonna come out with some memories and some experiences during university time. Uh, what they do, they can they, they can do uh, trips, they can do parties, uh, different nights with like comedy night or movie night. They usually have a, a coffee shop or a pub inside the university. Um, they do offer many things um, and as much as they are developed, the university will benefit from it. I mentioned about the gut feeling. From my experience, I would say that actually gut feelings makes a difference. 
I came to England two months uh, before actually picking the university. So I've applied through agency who showed me a few universities to pick from and I went to England to see them and um, yeah, the gut feeling told me that this uni is gonna be the best. Uh, I went into uni, I saw corridors, I was talking with students, I went to open day and yeah, like try to go if you have opportunity to, if you're living in England or you can get a cheap ticket from the abroad to come to England um, just for two days or three days to see university, come and see the university before choosing it. If you have three universities to choose from, uh, ideally I would go to three of them. But if not, um, right now during COVID, uh, there are some online tours you can do. You can ask an admission team um, if they are able to contact you with someone who studied there or who is studying there or a student ambassador to show you around on with like through online. Try to see the university first and you will feel if that's the right for you. Well, ideally before choosing university, write down the list of things you want ideally get from university whether it's partying, studying, good education, work experience, some internship, trips, uh, social life, more friends, living in accommodation. You can list all of these things what you want to get from university. Don't um, rationalize the choices for now. Uh, just write a list what will be ideal university you would go to and then whilst doing research you can actually tick which one which university has this um so as a summary take a look at if you want at the uh, rankings reviews opinions usually take a look at youtube how university is presented what students are talking about this university was the area how how the campus is looking, what's the environment around, is it in a city, take a look at jobs, are they available in that city where the, the university is in, what's the student life, any activities, student union, any trips, do you want something additional, do you want an internship, do you want a placement, uh, do you want to go abroad during university, what are the facilities, does your course have good and strong equipment system, um, that do they have spaces for whatever you want to do there, whether it's art or computer science, with what companies the university is working with or partnered with. Some universities are partnered with Google or Facebook and then they will automatically uh, offer you a placement in these big companies so you can use that. Don't be scared to call university or email them if you have any other questions. They're there to help you to answer any questions you have. Uh, so feel free to do that and also the most importantly go with your gut feeling just see the university tick the boxes and just just you you will have the feeling you will be excited don't pick university you're not excited about because that's not a point there's so many universities you can pick any and I feel like there will be one who will spark this light in you and don't settle for less than this park and gut feeling because that's not worth it just go somewhere you want hope this will help uh, if you have any other questions comment me down below i'm happy to answer them uh yeah just just listen to yourself and i know it's difficult for now to go to university but use the online resources university can have uh, to see the university or talk with someone and um, don't be discouraged and good luck with your studies and i hope everything will go well so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye